What do I say? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the Sherry Show. Today it's the Mr. LJ Show. Sherry's a little crouped up. Boy. <laughs> so you got me here with you, and sure enough, thank you for tuning in with us. We got a lot to talk about. I brought my gloves that I used working two days last week at the sawmill. Can I see that? <laughs> they smell like my brother's old truck where we used to haul puffwood. You old timers will remember that. Wilburn, I know you're watching. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Yeah, pretty nasty. neat, huh? Got that pine rosin on them. <coughs> I love it. I love it. Anyway, we got things to talk about. We do. Uh, if I could read this writing here. I bet you uh, read that. Yeah, I read this. <coughs> Go ahead. What we got? This is coming to uh, the, the, the Hickory Flat. Hickory Flat down in Canton? Mm -hmm. Or near Canton, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Lord, yeah. We have, is this Glory Bound? Glory Bound. It's a gospel group. They're great. And uh, it's two gospel <coughs> groups, the Old Paths <coughs> and, and Glory Bound. They're coming uh, to Hickory Flat September 10th, 2022 here at 4 p.m. at the Hickory Flat. Uh, where, where's it going to, the Fellowship Fellowship Hall. Hall. Yeah, the Hickory Flat <coughs> Fellowship Hall. Going to be down there singing some good gospel tunes. Come by and see them. Lord, yeah. You know why they're doing it at 4 o'clock? Because old ladies like me don't like to be home after yeah. dark. Yeah. Choir. Yeah. Choir. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, I can't well, help it. We, we are, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway. Now, this is going to. Yeah, that'll be a good show. You don't want to miss that. That's going to tweak you up a little bit. Yeah, what do we got here? <coughs> A bike and classic car ride for charity. Yeah, those are always good. I've done a few of them myself. And uh, you don't know it, but you're going to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, it benefits White Christmas. It's Saturday, October the eighth, two thousand twenty-two. And uh, you sign in at nine o'clock. You ride at ten, and there's a concert for lunch. And uh, it's uh, also at the Hickory Flat Fellowship Hall. It's going to be right there also. And that, again, is October the 8th. Good location. Yeah. <coughs> Good location. Yeah, I have memories of Hickory Flat. We won't go into that. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they're, they're good memories. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're Sometimes good memories. you never know. Yeah, okay. Now, <clears throat> we've been talking about the fact that I can't breathe right now, and I'm not going back on steroids. I've just made my mind. I'm not going to do it. Ain't going to happen. So y'all are going to have to put up with me. And um, <clears throat> it's not COVID. It's not contagious. It's from my um, some environment I've been in. So you are truly going to have to carry the show today. And well. you came up with a, a title called what? The what hour? Oh yeah! Welcome to the coffee grinding, stove wood chopping, good time hour, here on ETC. And, we, and it's it's uh, we're going to talk about sawmills. We're going to talk about picking berries, making blackberry jelly. That's good stuff. And stuff. <coughs> Just going to talk about stuff and everything. Guess what I'm doing tonight? Uh oh. Hadn't done it in 52 years. <coughs> I'm making pear honey, and pear honey. I don't. I don't think I've heard tell of pear honey. Nobody ever had till Nana Baker heard. come in there and said. Did you catch said, that, folks? Here. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I heard you. <laughs> we Nana Baker said we're gonna make pear honey, and I said, "Do you tell the bees to eat the pear trees?" And she said, yeah. "No. You yeah. boil your cores and you boil your. What do you call it? Skins, peelings." Yeah. Then you sift it through a cheesecloth, and then you boil it down with sugar and spices, and there's your pear honey. And she said you could make it pear jelly by thickening it, but you can make it just a good runny consistency, kind of like that blackberry syrup. Yeah. And it'll be like that with pears. So mm -hmm. I've got a new earpiece, shawl, and we're going to have to get a little tiny bit smaller ear thing because my mouth's big, but my ear's not. <laughs> I had to say it for oh, you. Oh boy, I could I could <laughs> comment right now. Go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I want to get thrown off the show, especially on live TV. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can I tell you what I did yesterday? Absolutely. Well, I uh, hauled a 396 Chevy Big Block up to the machine shop, and they're going to do the stuff to it, 
and uh, we're getting it ready for this guy that runs the sawmill to build for us. And they're boring it and they're doing all this. I gotta decide if I'm going 375 horse or just leave it about 350 or 360 right in there. I think it'll be 360 or so because I don't need all that horsepower. Not that that's such a big You don't difference. want 17 more tickets? Yeah, no. no. <clears throat> I got those in <clears throat> 72. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's uh, they bragged on it. The motor is in good shape. The guy that took it apart, he said, "Gosh, this motor almost don't even need building." He said, "It's it was all original. Mm -hmm. The it's where Chevrolet put it together in 1966. Wow! So we're good. It's, it must have low mileage, I guess. I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> you've got down here parts. Uh, Eton, where'd you go? Somewhere around Eton. It was above Eton, <clears throat> up near Cisco to a place, I don't even know the name of it. Those are real good guys though, they do good work. So part of the motor's at Cherry Log, part of the motor's at Eton, north of Eton. Not much of it is at Cherry Log, most of it's at 57 Heaven. Oh. Them guys don't like stuff laying around. Oh, They make okay. you take it with them, with oh. you. Oh, oh, okay. And, uh, okay. but yeah, it's gonna come together very nicely. And when it comes together, <coughs> the body, needs so little. It really does. The body needs so little. Me and my friend went over it yet again yesterday and it's uh, it's just, I mean, it is solid as a rock. It's yep. a good car. And Getting all <laughs> kinds of offers on it, people <clears throat> want it. It's crazy, yeah. it's crazy. Well, I hope when, I wasn't kidding about, I, oh, I would love for you to get to go to this. These guys, they did Christmas <clears throat> They've done Christmas for 37 years for needy kids in Cherokee County. And that's what this money is being raised for. Yeah. So I hope that everybody will come out to this car show. It's $20 per car to register. And the lunch and concert is free. It's included with it. So I want y'all to be a part of that. And please, Bob Reese, if you, if you watched yesterday's show, he is such a precious, precious guy, and uh, he is battling congestive heart failure. And so, really, yesterday he should have been in the hospital, but he chose to be with me. It's kind of like I ought to be in a doctor's office this morning, but I chose to be here with you yeah. <laughs> for the Mr. LJ show. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss my show. <laughs> don't don't want to miss your show. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have um, <clears throat> a commercial break. We're going to take, and then we're going to come back. Do you want to talk about that song right there? Right there. What song is it? In the cabin, the one that we did with you and Vic and uh, oh, yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Where where could I go? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, great song. It's something that uh, I'd never sung it, and uh, they come up, and and they'd never sung some that I come up with. And what you see there, we did it right on right on the fly. It was a song that Bobby had, I guess he had uh, sung all his life or something. But I'd heard <laughs> it, but I never tried to sing it. But we did pretty good. Did good. We did okay. Did good. Well, I'm going to try, even though I've given the show to you today, I have one thing that I want to do, because I made a promise and I made a commitment to my viewers right. that I would read one page <clears throat> from Mike Smith's book every day. And today I chose something that um, we all have to walk up that mountain. We all have to face trials and tribulations, and we always get through to it. And so today, <clears throat> and y'all, I will tell y'all, because of the rave reviews with Mike Smith, he will be back. He was amazing. So, so here we go. <clears throat> Years ago, I used to walk up Kennesaw Mountain quite a bit. Back then, I would have my cassette player and I carried listening to the soundtrack from Gettysburg or maybe Lonesome Dove. In a steep walk in a distance one mile, sometimes I would go on the winding road, but most of the time I would go on the trail. <clears throat> when I finally got to the top after spending time looking around in all directions, I would start back down, but then my knees were good and I could run. I would time myself running down to see if I could do it better each time I ran. It was great exercise in God's outdoors at a Civil War battlefield. <clears throat> when I look back at it now, it reminds me of life itself. As we were growing up, it seemed like we were always going uphill. Different seasons, different storms that we went through. But I've learned, and I bet you have too, that the older we get, the faster time goes. We finally made it to the top of the mountain, and it took a while. We felt like God was always with us during that trip. Although there were a couple of times in my life when I thought He wasn't. <clears throat> then, 
When we start back down the mountain of life, things speed up, moving quickly now. The trail flies by and we start to ask, where did the time go? Our children became grown, marry, and bless us with grandkids. Our parents leave us as orphans as they got to be with the Lord. We try to put on the brakes, but we can't slow life down. But then we realize God is also with us on the way down. In fact, he's never left us. The Bible says, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. When we go up the mountain and we start back down, he is always there. We have never been alone. And that goes out to some dear, dear friends battling cancer. And um, it is for each and every one of us who has faced a mountain. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, many times. Have you ever felt that uh, God was with you or you wouldn't have made <coughs> Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. So that, um, I hope that everybody who is reaching out, hurting. Um, you know, we hear of suicides every day. We hear of people who have cancer every day. We hear of hard times every day. But God is always there. And Mike's book, again, is God Keeps Showing Up. And please pick up a copy of this. It is, it is just an inspirational read. I absolutely love it, and I'm so thankful for he and Diane. <clears throat> They're wonderful friends to the community of Ball Ground and wonderful friends to us, and I just appreciate them so much. So now... <coughs> You want to go to that song? Yeah, the song we did. Is this my camera here? That's, that's your camera. Yeah, okay. That's, okay. 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 <laughs> you got to run the show. Yeah, we're going to the uh, to the sh uh, song that we recorded not long ago, just a few days ago, over in the cabin with those Davis brothers. I don't think we've aired this one before, have we? I don't believe so. I don't think so. Mm -hmm, no. It's called Where Could I Go <coughs> But To The Lord, and we sang it on the fly. We'd never sung it before. We just sat down there and recorded it, honestly. Here you Here go. All right. We're back on air, folks, and I'm going to tell you something. Back when I was a little boy, if it hadn't have been for the blues, I wouldn't have had a friend in the world. So that's how it works back in those days. You got one you want to sing for let's, us? Let's do a gospel let's song. Let's do one. Okay. Yeah. Let's do one called Where Could I Go? Hit us a key there. Where?
song. Love your vodka. Can't beat it. you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and Stripes Forever America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. I said, come on, darling, take me downtown, because I want to see some of that country Blue Ridge Georgia. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. It's back on the Mr. LJ Show. Can you tell folks about the trivia we're going to play on your Facebook page? Yes, I can. You can name songs that we use on today's show mm -hmm. and win a T-shirt. Yep. A T-shirt with a nice 57 Ford on the front and signed by Mr. LJ. And it says Mr. LJ. It says, welcome to LJ. It says, how do you like them apples? Nice t-shirts, and folks, we got good t-shirts too. We didn't, we, we're not gonna put you in junk. These are good quality, 100% cotton, heavy cotton t-shirts. You'll love them. You're gonna win you one right here. You did a good job with photography, and I, you, you like 
that edge with the camera and you like showing off with the camera and you happen to live in a place that you can show off because God gives you this amazing view every single day. It's beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's is. raining or the sun's out or the sun's setting, it's gorgeous. And sometimes that big mountain is called Grassy Mountain. Sometimes it's froze over. It'll be nice weather down at my house, but the mountains froze. That's crazy. How cool is that? That's crazy. I know. Okay, <clears throat> we have, um, you know, when we look at life, we've, we've been blessed, you know, had some controversy young in life, had some issues in life, but we've been blessed. And um, when I looked at my friend Bob yesterday who was here and he was talking about White Christmas, they'd done this for over 36 years. They used to do Christmas for 200 kids a year. Last year, over 770 children in Cherokee County would not have had Christmas if Glory Bound and Bob and Linda Reese had not started this. And the Isaacs are the headliner. Now, Mr. Ella J wasn't familiar with the Isaacs, but he's about to get familiar with them because I'm going to play them till he gets sick of hearing them. Lily Isaac grew up Jewish, um, totally different family. She became a Christian. Her children are Christians. They are number one at the Opry. They are number one. They win every Dove Award known. They win every award all the time because they are amazing. But when they started out, <clears throat> they started out with nothing because her family disowned her for becoming a Christian. Hmm. So it was a very, very different lifestyle. And uh, my favorite interview, I guess, if I had to choose out of everybody I've ever interviewed, she was Aunt Betty Jordan's favorite, favorite person. She loved to hear her and she loved, and so she asked me, she said, if you interview her, will you ask her to pray for me? And I did that. And it was just a precious, precious moment in all the interviews I've ever done. I think that was the one that touched my heart the most because I'm watching this lady who gave up everything in her life and her her heritage from being a Jewish mom and, and then coming back and becoming a Christian and, um, what a, what a prayer warrior. What, a, what an amazing, amazing lady. So I cannot wait. And again, this event is on November the 13th at 4 p.m. <clears throat> and it's going to have the Isaacs, John Bowman, and Glory Bound. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope all of y'all will come and uh, help to raise money. That, that is once a year that I get the checkbook out and I, I write a nice check. And I try to help them because um, it makes a difference. Can you imagine Christmas morning with nothing? No, no. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So, now, <clears throat> you did a Charlie Pride song. Yep. And uh, we're going to share that. Do you remember what you did? It was Happy Birthday something something. Happy Birthday Darling. Is that the name of it? The, the other Charlie Pride song? Mm -hmm. No, it was, uh, I Can't Believe You've Stopped Loving Me. There it is, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> There it is. Okay. Yeah. I hadn't heard that in a long time, and it just came out of your mouth. Oh, I know a bunch of old songs. That's all I do know is old songs. Uh, Why? Because uh, I'm old. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Open the door. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, <coughs> You're, but, uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, I always liked Charlie way back in the day. It was Charlie Pride and uh, Pulpwood. Smells like the inside of my old brother's uh, pulpwood truck where we used to go and cut pulpwood. I was little. I carried the gas, remember, and measured. That's but, crazy. yeah, uh, Charlie was a big part. I started learning some Charlie Pride after I learned that Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash. Then I went on into Charlie Pride stuff after that. <clears throat> and who, when you got into Hank Williams Sr., you, I've never heard you do a Hank Jr. song. Do you ever Never do any of his? No. no, no, I didn't think no. so. And George Jones. Some. George Jones, you don't do any? Uh, I never was. George is a legend, I know. I love George, but I just didn't listen to him that much. My daddy loved George Jones. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Now, when you're out at the sawmill and, and you said bringing back those memories of your daddy and your brother, and you know, you're kind of like the last of the Mohegans. Mom's gone, dad's gone, brothers are gone. He have one auntie left yes, and, I do. and a few cousins. And yeah. we think about, we are at the end of our road and 
they're just that generation. You know, we used to be the biggest family in Dawson County, and now so many of us have passed away. Mm -hmm. And you showed me generations of y'all's graves and different cemeteries. There's so <clears throat> many that went on before you. Every one of us are, uh, are buried here at the same cemetery. My daddy, his daddy, uh, Bill Sanford's daddy, Henry Sanford's daddy, Hezekiah Sanford, all the way down to me, we're all buried at uh, Crossroads Cemetery, right out there in Pumpkin Center. And for people who don't know the area, it's off Tails Creek? 282. 282, yeah. yeah. Yep. Or as I call it, the Audubon. Yeah. The Audubon. There's no speed limit out there. No, there's no speed limit. You can go or 900 miles. at least it don't miles. seem like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. <laughs> crazy but yeah. crossroads is it still a little country church has services twice a month oh, yeah. or once a month yeah. yeah yeah going on right now yeah what year was it established do you remember the oh, 1800s it was a long time. yeah somewhere in the 1800s yeah i don't know i better not guess but i know it was way back in the 1800s mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and out of that area did most folks walk to church yep and rode and rode horses and rode uh, and rode in wagon horse and wagon mm -hmm and walked, yeah. In fact, my little Aunt Margie right now can tell you stories about her and her sister Martha. Martha died very young, but her, and, uh, she and Martha walked to, to Crossroads up that dirt road. And they sang, you know, they, they were really good singers. What we'd love to have Margie with us one day. Yeah, what we'd love to have what we'd love. <laughs> We ain't getting what we love, are we? We may not get what we'd love. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. we're trying. <laughs> we may love to have Margie with us, but can't make any promises. <laughs> I was working on it. Is and she bashful? Now, well. Maybe. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> I was working on it. Now I haven't mentioned it in a while, but she's watching right now. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> she's watching right now. Hey, little Margie. Lordy, we're Margie. gonna sing someday, and we're gonna record it, and people are gonna love it. I try <laughs> to tell you, they're gonna love it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's go to Charlie Pride. What you think? Okay, uh, let's play some Charlie Pride. Here's me doing Charlie Pride. Okay, do something, Charlie Pride. If you don't mind, I've got this rolling right now, and we're not going to use it as a blooper. We're going to just let you choose something you really, really want to do. I always make decisions. I'm sick of making decisions, so you be the decision maker. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, do it. Rolling? Rolling. Okay, we're going to show all this. Yes. Howdy, folks. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise you with a gift when I come home. Then my... Okay. <laughs> Cracking me up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blooper number one on this one. Try right. it again. Okay, there you go. It was all funny. All right. Okay. Tomorrow, oh, to, sorry, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise you with a gift when I come home. And my forgetful arm.
You know, you're here because you can sing. You're here because you can pick. And you're really here because you allow me to capture the moments. There are some bloopers that we are going to get you to share. You capture them too, yeah. We have got some funnies, and y'all are going to get to see them in the near future. I've been treading lightly because I didn't want him to feel like I was interfering with his perfection. He's not perfect all the time, and sometimes he's just totally crazy. Hey, hey, you only have to get it right one time. <laughs> And help so all those running. bloopers are fun too. Yeah, <laughs> yep, that's why yep. the cameras are rolling. Yeah. Yep. Well, yep. I think the first time you came here, you sat down at the piano after you had said, "I don't play the piano." And I don't. And I grabbed a camera. Yeah, you did. And the you? rest is history. Yeah, I'm afraid yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And he said, "Well, I don't really play, but he really and played." And I don't. Let me reiterate, I yeah. don't. Yeah, but you played. Yeah. And. Um, it's time to get back in the studio. Let's talk about what's going to happen in the studio. Yes, folks, I have to get in the studio very soon. All this motor stuff and all this fixing stuff back and burner. mowing and weed eating, I do a lot of that. <laughs> but that's about to come to an end, that part is. And I'm going to get back in the studio. I'm going to remix some on the Hank Williams tribute album. Then I'm going to remaster it, have it remastered. And we're going to make that again, put it back out, because we don't have any more copies. They're gone. Mm -hmm. And every now and then I see somebody, I want to buy Hank Williams. Don't have any, sorry. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have. And then we're going to compile a selection of, uh, of my songs. And it, it, we'll pull from, no telling where, even in the studio that has never been put out yet. And, uh, and pull from other CDs and make a compilation of fan favorites. And we're gonna start on that really soon and have that done. And may I'll throw in a bonus track or two on that one. Maybe, I got a song called 50 GMC. Oh, I've never heard it. That you gotta it. hear, I love it. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and a few others too, I'll, I'll throw something in and, and make, it, make it special. And it'll be like a, like a your favorites, and we'll do that real soon. Do you remember the first time you came here? <clears throat> you ended with something for Margie, and it was Amazing Grace. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. and um, it was important for you to honor her. And I said that's what our life today is. We are honoring those that went on before us, and. When I'm in the kitchen, I always think about all the ladies who made a difference in my life. And I wish I'd told them more how much I loved them. I wish I'd told them more how much I appreciate them. Yeah. But I watch you. I don't think you ever get off the phone with her that you don't say I love you. Oh, it don't happen, no. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's got to say that each and every time because you don't know when it's that last conversation. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, and I love that you're thankful and grateful and you always say that's an A plus or that's great or that's, you know, a positive, a positive word. Everybody wants to hear a positive word. All you ever get is A pluses. Yeah, thank you. You bring me food <laughs> and uh, I keep thinking, well, she's gonna screw something up one of these days and I'll give like an F minus. <laughs> but it's always A pluses. You've never gotten anything but an A plus. Well, I like to cook, I like to share God's bounty, and the fact that you pick it and gather it and bring it to me, I can cook it. Now we're back on the rutabagas because you are oh, determined. We've got to get you, you got to come to the altar on this rutabaga <laughs> thing. What? I don't know. <laughs> I get cold chills. Did your mommy drop you on your head when you was a little girl? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Something's wrong. But you don't like rutabagas? Do you like fried turnips? Yes, I do. I love fried turnips. I am addicted to yes. fried turnips. Why I can't get the rutabaga thing down. But Mama, I think it's because Mama forced me to eat that junk. We talked about this before. I don't know. On turnips, you had turnip greens. And on right. rutabagas, what was it? Well, a lady told me that you can pick them when they're very young and you can cook the greens. One of our viewers sent what us a message. What do you What are they called? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm. Can we talk a little bit about a lady who sent us a precious three-page letter? Actually, four-page letter. That little lady. Can we, can we share a little bit of, of our meeting her and, and Absolutely. how much it meant to you? Yes, yes, it meant everything. Such a fine lady. I took her some CDs <clears throat> and uh, 
she listens to them. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a big difference. Sometimes you take people's CDs and then you find them in the floor of their car, out of their case, <laughs> ground in the dirt. No, 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 no. <clears throat> but not in this case. <coughs> She listens to her CDs. I know she does because she names out songs and parts of songs and words that, that she really likes a lot. Mm -hmm. That is very precious. <coughs> and uh, I appreciate that very much. She wanted to pay me. Not mm -hmm. happening. Not happening. And if any of you folks, sometimes they just send money. And if that happens, I send it to the Shriners Children's Hospital. Yep, yep, you do. That's the other thing that I really, that was impact for me because my brother <clears throat> was, if it hadn't been for the Shriners Hospital, he couldn't walk. And he's a special needs gentleman, but he's always held a job, always held a job all of his life. And it's because the Shriners made yeah. it possible for him to walk. And so, yeah, anytime, and, and I'll probably cause a wreck one day because if the Shriners are collecting money, I'm digging through my purse trying to right. throw money in their bucket, you know. And <clears throat> we should choose to help others. I think that's yes. what life is about, and that's that's where you that's really God's bounty is where those blessings come back to us. Yeah. Now, when you and Margie cross Fort Mountain and you're singing, do you think about oh my gosh, how amazing this is that she's I do. she's yeah. 80 what? Uh, she's just about to be 82. Her birthday is October the first. And uh, I hear that every day, too. <laughs> that is about yeah. to be her birthday. <laughs> I, there's no such thing as forgetting her birthday. I love I it. I hear it every day. <laughs> I love it. And uh, it's a big deal. She'll be 82 on October the 1st. And that means a nice dinner for little Aunt Margie and a mm -hmm. nice ride in her favorite vehicle. She calls it the Trump Mobile. <laughs> I love it. It's, <laughs> it's my Yukon. <laughs> she loves it. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. She loves to ride in that and we'll go have a nice dinner. Speaking of Trump mobiles, we showed up at a Trump rally in a black Lincoln Navigator, the big platinum edition one. Mm -hmm. And when we pulled up at the time, Trump was had been, they'd been driving a black Lincoln Navigator and we pulled up at this event and you should have seen people looking like, Trump's here, <laughs> Trump's here. No, it was two old ladies from yeah. Georgia. <laughs> it was so funny. But, <clears throat> you know, we don't talk politics much. We totally agree on politics completely. I mean, yeah. to the max, we love uh, Greg. We watch 11 o'clock at night. You know, we, we like all the same stuff. We have these common denominators to a point that I've laughed and said we have to be related <laughs> some way because we just see life as it should be. And, and Matt Dibler, who's going to be my co-host tomorrow, sent me a message this morning and he said, what do you want me to talk about? And I said that the world's gone to the devil in a handbasket. And you have a line in the song, I've been wrong before. I wrote it in, uh, I think it was about 15, 14 probably when I wrote it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, stuck that in there. And, and I told Matt, I said. The world's you... going, the, the country is going straight to you know where on a highway paved with hope. Yep. And if we keep playing around with this, we'll hang by our own rope. Yep. And yep. I believe that. <clears throat> Absolutely. And, and that's what Matt asked. He said, what kind of message do you want me to deliver? And I said, let's get back to good and let's get back to God. And let's <clears throat> quit taking the Ten Commandments out of the uh, jury rooms. Quit taking the Ten Commandments off the church walls. Quit taking or off the uh, school walls. Quit taking the Ten Commandments because the Ten Commandments will stand when everything else fails. But we are in a world <clears throat> where people are doing some crazy stuff. I know. They're doing some crazy stuff. I know. A 20-year-old um, shot an 84-year-old man at a grocery store, a Safeway grocery store. They used to be one of my clients for years. And we used to sell them lots of stuff. And, and to my God, I had a great sales rep, Paul Kruger, who <clears throat> traveled to Safeway all the time. And when I saw that on Kruger? the news yesterday, his name was Paul Kruger. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Any relation to Freddie? <laughs> no, no. Are you kidding? No, his name is Paul Kruger. <laughs> okay, it was. we know a guy named Paul Kruger. <laughs> we do. I think it's Freddie's cousin. Yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. There's my tribute. <laughs> there it is. But we did, uh, when I watched that shooting yesterday, this, this gentleman who worked at Safeway, 66 years old, he was your age, he stopped the shooter, but he died in the line of fire. Oh, so he's working at a Safeway grocery store, and because some crazy deranged 20-year-old with an AR-15 oh, 
Holy walks man. into the grocery store. Now, who does that? Who I does know. that? It's going on all over the country. But it's happening. I can't understand it. Yeah, yeah, and it's happening with the 20-year-olds. If you look at mm. all the shootings that are happening, it's the 19-year-olds, the 20-year-olds, the 23-year-olds. These are people who, this is that generation that we have to pray for, we have to worry yeah. about. And set good examples. <coughs> exactly. To, yeah. Back to the Bible, back to yes. church. That song that you sang about the Bible, Every, everything you've ever done, that's my favorite. That is it. What? Which, which that song? Your grand, that your granddaddy sang. Oh, I know. That's a good song. Yeah, yeah. And you said you and Margie sang it. But that tells the truth. <clears throat> Can you, what's the first line in it? In the Bible, we read of a city that's paved with streets of pure gold. And, and we read of that Bible knowing that if we live right and we accept him, we're going there. You know, and that's what Matt yeah. was talking about. It talks about the river that runs by the throne, drink of the life-giving water. Good yeah. song, Bill Sanford. Yeah. W.D. Bill, William David, we called him Bill. Bill Sanford. The five foot six giant. Yeah, that big old tall guy that was my <laughs> grandpa. And then after I grew up, I, Marjorie gave me his license to keep. He was five six. <laughs> that is crazy, that is oh, crazy. Well. You know, we, we look at our life and our past and our families, and I pulled out a picture on Sunday of my granddaddy, my grandmother, and two other ladies, um, I think two were, they were my great aunts, had been to church in Dawson County at Mount Vernon Baptist Church on a Sunday. Then they went down to the Etowah and they got in a little boat and they were dressed for church. Remember how people used to dress yes. for church? You said your granddaddy wore suits. Sunday go to meeting. Well now, it's casual Sunday, and it takes me a lot to get used to that because I was used to the pantyhose, the high heels, the whole gig. And then we went to casual, and everybody said, well, we want everybody to feel comfortable. Well, I liked getting up and getting dressed up on Sunday, and yeah. your granddaddy would probably have never gone to church not oh, in a suit. Oh, it was a suit each and every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did your daddy dress up? Yes. Yep. And you have a necktie that was your dad's. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. One day we're going to share maybe a few words of what we did of your tribute, because we're going to have to edit it and get Tim to work on it. Yeah. Where we talk about your family at your home and, and the keepsakes and the memories you have. Probably the most prominent thing would be your dad's flag from his casket. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and and then we look at your mama's little, what do you call it, the wash pan? Yeah, it was the wash pan. Yeah, yeah. So little things that are tried and true treasures for you. Absolutely, yes, indeed. And when we look at today's world, people don't care. We have a throwaway society. No, no. You know, we have a throwaway society. And <clears throat> you'd have choked Evelyn out. I love Evelyn. She's my buddy. She went to a house she bought in Cartersville. She brought me lots of, lots of cannon jars, lots and lots of cannon jars but she threw away 22 bags of stuff. And you know what you and I'd be doing, don't you? Saving it? Going through it and sorting yeah. it. <laughs> Gosh, yes. you might need that someday. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I have to quit that. I have to quit that. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna get a new outlook. <clears throat> now, do I you... better haul this to the dump in case I never need it if I live to be 100. You're crazy. That's what I need to do. <laughs> now you have a thing about hard rock maple. And yeah, you, I like hard rock. You've maybe. got a little bitty bed that is a youth size that I've been looking, looking, looking for a mattress online for you. Well, let me tell you, <clears throat> they're expensive you and they're ridiculous. Yeah, I found four, but you wouldn't want to pay the price. He is also very oh. conservative, very conservative. But I did I find realize. four, but we need a good <clears throat> used one. So if anybody out there has a it's a youth size, not a twin size, because you I made the mistake. I wasn't familiar. I don't even know what. Well, you made the mistake of putting a twin set of mattress box spring. Yeah, it I just put it there to get it out of <laughs> yeah, the floor. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work. Yeah. But, <clears throat> but you love old woods, and is that because your dad ran a sawmill and you were around it? It or? could be. It just could be. Uh, I like wood stuff. In fact, I'm about to finish up a house, and uh, we're going to have tongue and groove uh, pine paneling on the walls. Just like Harris it. Farm. I yep. love it. Yep. It's going to be beautiful. Did you decide to do the ceilings in that too? I'm studying. 
I'm studying. May do, may do drywall on the ceilings, but I'm still studying. It could be there too. I don't know. I tell you what you want to do on the <clears throat> ceilings. You will not put that popcorn stuff. Ain't having it. Ain't having it. You know, in that my house, happening. at the Dwight house, at the Dwight house we have popcorn ceilings. Yes. And yes, I don't know what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. It must have been 1990 when I did yes, that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. And and yeah. when when you have to take that snarly stuff down. Yeah. Yeah. It's not fun. I know. It's not fun. Anyway. It's not fun. <clears throat> now, as as we look at the world that we're facing, as we look at it, is an election year. It is a political. It's it's a hot political year. I always encourage people to register to vote and to vote. And I always say, vote your own conscience, but just as long as you agree with me. <clears throat> so, right. you know, does we that make friends, sense? Yeah. We can be friends. Yeah. And um, every once in a while, I have some friends who do not agree with me politically, but we still are friends. <clears throat> and I kind of laugh and think, well, bless their heart. You know, Southern people say that a lot, bless their heart. Yeah. I bless their heart, and then I think, please open your mind. Please, if you are looking at the election coming up, please think about our conservative values as a nation. Think about our our goodness as a nation. And that's what I told Matt his, his message should be tomorrow. Our goodness goes back to God because we were a nation founded on the Bible's principles way back when. We were a nation founded on making it through the world by doing good for others. And, and I think having Bob Reese here yesterday he was sitting here by me, congestive heart failure, and he really needed to be at the doctor, and he chose to be here instead. No, no. Because he said, I want you to help me promote <coughs> the events that I do to help others. That's what the world <coughs> is supposed to be about. Yes. And, and that's what we should do, is to give back. <clears throat> and we often see people taking and taking and taking to a point that they, you're like, are you kidding me? You know, how much more can you do to destroy somebody and how can you how can you be so negative? We have to stay positive. Now your songs, and I tell you this all the time, I'm coming up 05 in a black suburban. It's not a 66 Chevelle because I don't have a 66 Chevelle to drive. See, I just come up the road in that suburban. But I put on happy music. And Southern Mr. L. J. Southern Lights. Southern City Lights. Southern City Lights is that one that just makes me feel good. When you, because you're an old rocker, is that why you kept going back to those rhythms? Probably. Well, that's that's like a little doo-wop kind of song. Yeah, it and is I a doo-wop. I love that stuff. It I'll is tell a doo-wop. Okay, let's clear something <laughs> up. I am an old rocker, but to hear me tell it, it all started and it all returns to rockabilly. I love rockabilly music. I think that's where they all got their ideas. Mm -hmm. Including the Beatles? Probably so. Now, is it true that your daddy did not like the Beatles? Well, he he didn't get it like I did. <laughs> no. He, no, yeah. he didn't. Let's tell it like it is. He yeah. didn't like the Beatles. Yeah. Later on in life, you know, as I grew up and we got on up, he'd, he'd listen, to, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd play him something and he'd, I'd play him some of that stuff. You know, the Beatles had such a, such a range. You know, something like In My Life, he, he liked that a little mm -hmm. bit. He'd listen to it, you know, but, uh, but yeah. It's, uh, I think it all goes back to rockabilly. Rockabilly is cool stuff. Well, we did an <coughs> honor <clears throat> in memory of a dear, dear friend, and I got a message from his son the other day. My friend Don Coker was a Vietnam vet. He died of Agent Orange. Um, he was a little bit about my age, and <clears throat> he was a Vietnam vet who willingly gave his, his life because Agent Orange destroyed so many lives. We know so many people who are Vietnam vets, and, and that music, he and I connected mm -hmm. immediately as friends because we love the same music. And so we just posted something on our YouTube channel, and it's a tribute to Don Coker, and I hope that y'all will go and watch it because I got the sweetest message from his son the other night, and it was about the music because Don and I connected on music, and we love to play trivia. So, <clears throat> so today, as we leave you, we're going to do a little bit of trivia. We're going to play our last song, and it is called "Take Me Home, Country yeah. Roads." Who was the Who was the girl you, not Donna Fargo, the girl you interviewed? Wanda uh, Jackson. Yeah, there yes. you go. Rock there. and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, buddy. Yes, Rock and Roll Hall that's, of Fame. That's she helped things get started. <coughs> she did, and she's uh, still. That's rockabilly as all get out. Yes, yes, and yeah. she was amazing. And uh, Tom Cochran, not Tom. Uh, Eddie Cochran, 
Well, today we're ending with John Denver, who you do his music very, very well. <clears throat> so we're going to end with you doing one of his songs. And I want you all to think about this. I want you to think about this song because if you get in your car and you're headed to Blue Ridge, if you're headed to Morganton, if you're headed up to Blairsville. Or Pumpkin Center. Or Pumpkin Center. <laughs> Think about Take Me Home Country Roads. It's all about getting back to our roots. It's always getting about back to the basics of what was good in America. And right. I think that song is, that's why I love it so much. It just relates to what the world used to be. And it used to be <clears throat> just a kinder, gentler nation. Who was the person who said that? One of the presidents that I probably don't like anymore. But we wanted a kinder, gentler nation, and we need that today. We're well, seeing... we know who it wasn't. <coughs> yeah. Don't call any names. <laughs> but call anyway. Any names. Uh. But we want y'all to enjoy these mountains. Get out and ride the roads. If you don't have a 1950 GMC truck, get out and do it in whatever you've got. And can we say good morning to Gail? And what a precious lady she is. Gail. Good morning to you. We love Thank her. Thank you. For George H. W. Bush said that, and yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, we we were a kinder, gentler nation, and yes. uh, we we've, we've lost a little of that, and I it's know. time we get back to it. So I think John Denver's music is a perfect way to get back to it. Now I can't believe I'm playing a Democrat's music, because I believe John Denver was a Democrat, but I'm gonna play his music anyway. I think he was. <laughs> yeah. We won't hold it against yeah. him. Hey, I got Democrat friends. <laughs> I do too. I they hate do. it for them, <laughs> but they're good you. friends. They're good friends. You know, they just I got one that lives it. way up in Michigan somewhere, and oh, he says the dumbest stuff. Does he try to straighten you out? No, uh, but you know, it's hard to understand how they can have so much sense yeah. about things. He can do things. He can. He's an electrician. He can do, a, and he's no common sense. <laughs> Bless him. Not saying who it is. But. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Okay, y'all, we're going to end today. Remember the songs we did today. It's like, so you like these <laughs> gas prices, do you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All right, y'all, here we go. Do you want to introduce yourself doing that song? Yes, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dwight Sanford. Been called Mr. Ella J for this song I wrote called Welcome to Ella J. <clears throat> and today, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm doing... Take Me Home, Country Roads, a beautiful old song, takes me back to 1971 when we go to Mountain Town and go swimming at the swimming hole right up there at the bridge. Take Me Home, Country Roads was often playing on the radio of our 66 fire lane. It was <clears throat> owned and driven by Jackie Dunn, and we'd go swimming there in the summer. It was Take Me Home. I'd sit in the back seat. <clears throat> Please excuse me. I'd sit in the back seat. We'd be riding up the road. John Denver would come on that radio, and I'd say, turn it up, Jack, turn it up, <laughs> and he would. And we was on our way to go swimming. Here it is. It's me doing country, take me home, country roads. Dude.
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard.